Across the country, the right-wing war on abortion is racing ahead full steam. For the new Republican Congress, Planned Parenthood is a prime target. A group whose anti-abortion billboards sparked outrage in New York is back with more. A lot of people talk about women's health care, but not that many people listen. So we got on a bus, brought a camera, and let people speak for themselves. We listened to patients. If I had not been able to go to Planned Parenthood, I don't think I could have afforded the medication I needed. Listen to healthcare providers. We provide healthcare to anyone. We prevent pregnancy. Um, we have STD testing, free HIV testing, cervical cancer screening. Listen to those who have been on the front lines. I just picked myself up and ran to the floor. I can tell you I know a lot about having black babies. I've had three of them. And I had my first one when I was 18 years old and to those worried about the next generation. We're leaving this world to our children and we have to leave them something that they would enjoy or something they would like living in. Millions of Americans have stories. Here are a few. Some guy you've never met who was elected by someone else you've never met is gonna decide when and where you know, your reproductive health is health handled. I am personally offended as a black woman and as a mother that I can't decide what's best for my children, that I can't decide how to raise or make the best decisions for my body. It's your body, it's your relationship with your God, it's your decision. We have the right to choose what is best for our body. We have the right to choose what is best for our family. If we are going to deal with teenage pregnancy, then we gotta deal with prevention. And prevention means getting these teenagers information. To come, to feel safe, uh, to get information about reproductive health, to get information about youth development, to help them decide on their life choices. When I was 20, 21 years old, Planned Parenthood saved my life. We've talked to people whose breast cancer we've diagnosed, and had it not been for Planned Parenthood, they wouldn't have, uh, they wouldn't have anywhere to go. They discovered precancerous cells on my cervix. I could have developed cervical cancer. I wouldn't be standing before you today. I want to make sure that people have access. People die because they don't have access. They die because they don't have information. They die because they are poor. It makes me very sad that there are other women who will, you know, going forward in their life say, if only, if only I'd had the opportunity, if only I'd had the knowledge, if only I'd had someone to um, tell me what to do. I don't think that's a message we want to pass on to the next generation of girls.